Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video which is going to be a utility makeover video. The makeover that we have done in our utility room isn't a grand designs makeover, it's not going to be George Clark's amazing spaces over here but I am really pleased with how we have managed to change the look of our utility room and freshen it up. Our utility room is not a massive room, it's quite a small little utility but we love it and I just thought I would share this makeover with you all. So quickly before I got into anything in this video, I just wanted to quickly speak to you about Mapperful because they kindly sent me a print to put in our utility room and I am in love with it. So I'll give you a little preview of what the print looks like up on the wall here now without trying to show you the whole finished room just yet. So Mapperful, as it gives away a little bit in the name, does maps of all different cities all across the world, places, so you can pick anywhere that you want and they will print a little like black and white simple line map. They also do stars, I think you can pick dates and places for the stars and constellations at the time, you can get your maps in lots of different variations, so it's worth having a little look on the website and having a little play around to get the print that's perfect to suit your home and style. We decided to go for the city of Bath in our mapful print. I feel so, so lucky to live near the beautiful city of Bath. It is just stunning and yeah, very, very blessed to live near. It's also the city where I had Alexa, so my first daughter. That just holds a special place in my heart because that is where I became a mother. And then we also had the twins there as well, so it's where Aid became a father and we just love the city as a whole. So it just seemed really, really fitting to have a city that was close to our hearts in our home. It's so, so simple and I really love that simple style in my home. We also got the frame that it's hanging from, from Mapperful as well, so we went for this hanging effect frame where it looks like you've just pinned the artwork to the wall on a bit of string and I really, really love that. It's just different to your average frame. It gives a bit more of a quirky feel. I think you can get all sorts of different frames on their website as well, so it just depends what you're looking for and they have that ready up there on their website. So definitely go check out Mapperful and again I am really thankful that they sent me this print for this video. So the utility room was actually one of the deal breakers I had when we were looking for a house to move into. We have been living in this house now for about a year and a half. We moved in in January 2019 so we have been doing up rooms as time's gone on, it's taken us quite a while to get round to some rooms, but that's just life, you know. The utility room was one of those rooms that got put on a back burner and it just stayed the same for ages. Once we'd ripped out the utility cupboards initially, the ones that were in before we moved into the house and plastered the walls, we just didn't do anything else with it. We didn't paint it, nothing, and it just stayed the same for the longest time. When we did move into our house as well, I wasn't doing YouTube back then, so I didn't take any footage or video footage of the rooms before we started changing everything, and that is just one of the biggest regrets I have, just not starting this channel and not getting footage of the house before we started changing things. I've only got a couple of pictures, dodgy pictures probably, of the room before we moved in. It was just a plain room with a sink and just had some units along the bottom, and it wasn't even a bad looking room it was fine, we could have lived with it how it was, but I just really wanted to make it my own taste and style. When we moved into the house we decided to get our kitchen redone. Whilst we were getting the kitchen done we did the utility at the same time. We ended up changing the sink, we went for a ceramic white sink. We did look at getting a Belfast sink, the same as we've got in our kitchen, but it just wouldn't have worked out, it would have taken up too much cupboard space. We also were getting quartz worktops in our kitchen, but we decided to go against quartz in the utility room just to cut back costs, and it wasn't a room which everyone's going to be in there looking at all the time, you know, it's not a room where we're going to be hanging out in socially, so we ended up just putting laminate on the sides and it still looks fine. As for the cupboards and cupboard doors, we went for the shakers style, we just went for a black colour. So the reason we went for black colour is because I really do love black kitchens and all of that, but we decided to go very neutral in our kitchen so that it would be timeless, but I wanted to go for something a bit more statement in our utility room because it was a smaller room and I just felt like doing something a little bit out there, so I'm so so glad that we decided to go for the darker colour in the utility room. And also, as a bit of a statement, we decided to go for gold knobs, handles and fixtures, and that is just how our utility room stayed for ages. And 
and then during lockdown we just thought now is the time to really just finish it off at least get it painted and just sort it out a little bit and make it look a little bit more nicer i'll insert a clip now of what our utility room looked like before we started doing it up in lockdown so here is the start of our utility and you walk through and then there is a door out towards the driveway and the garages we haven't done anything to the wall since it's been plastered we've put a few tiles on they still will need grouting so the tiles will need grouting all of the plugs will need changing over so that will be changed i need to clean down this door i think we're going to paint it as well paneling which is going to start being put on here today a has got a sander there because we've been sanding this little bit here there was also some hooks up here which we took down filled in the holes so that's all been sanded as well we need to get some shelves up here so my plan is to have some nice pretty little shelves up here with a few bits and bobs on and then a print to go up here and then i'm hoping to do like a diy pegboard over our paneling but yeah here we are at the start so that is a room beforehand and you will see we had a big plain white wall down one side but not enough to really put a lot against that wall because it is quite a small walkway in that utility room as you can see and i have always 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 wanted paneling in my utility room and we decided to go just for a easy paneling look and i also really wanted like a peg hook system going on in this room as well so we decided to incorporate some pegs into the paneling along the wall we did our paneling just using mdf from b and q i think it was it could be wix aid will know but it will be one of those i'll try and you know link information down below as much as i can and we ended up cutting the strips i can't remember off the top of my head what centimeters or millimeters we cut the strips to or aid cut the strips to so i'll link all of that information down below as well i ordered some pegs off ebay and they were wooden and they just came ready to paint they came with a little screw on them and we just had to screw them into the board so they were super easy to stick onto the wall and then it was just a case of priming the wall and painting it and we decided to go for a black color so it would match the units on the other side and i'm so happy that we went with that i also knew that i really wanted shelving in our utility room so i went for some shelves from wix we went for some pine shelves just so we could paint them ourselves i ended up painting them in the same white color that we did on the wall it was a little bit of a ball ache come back now i would probably just go and buy the shelves straight off without having to paint them just coming ready in the white color because it was a bit of a pain to prime them and paint them. I think they were only nine pounds, so very inexpensive. I think that's everything I have to share with you up to this point. And I'm gonna move on to the finished utility room now and explain to you where we have bought everything in that room. And I will also link everything down below for you to have a little look at yourselves. I really hope that you enjoy it. into the room we got this rug from ikea i showed you this in my ikea haul and i think it just works really nice in this room it gives the room a little bit more of a softer effect against the dark black which i love we have the paneling over here so i am so happy with the paneling i just think it adds something extra to this room and then we screwed all the little peg bits in they're all painted now i can hang little bits and bobs on there i still need to work on what i'm going to hang on these little peg bits but i will get on to what we have got on there for now and then moving up here we have my gorgeous mapperful print it is just the most gorgeous plain and simple black and white photo of a city so we've picked the city of bath you can pick a town you can pick any place in the world that you want i actually do have another one on the way and we've gone for florida because that's one of our favorite ever holidays and then i bought the frame separately on the website myself they are great and it would make a great gift for somebody as well i mean it's a bit too early to say the c word which is christmas but you never know or if you've got any families and birthdays coming up this would be fantastic and then to the other side of here we just have 
our little drying rack from Ikea. This was my little bargain buy. It was £24, but I found this in the bargain corner for £7 because it was X display and I really, really love it. Ignore that little box up there. Oh, it's so ugly. It really offends my eyes, but nothing I can do about that at the moment. Hopefully we will get that boxed in at some point. So moving on to some decorative bits that I have on my panelling. I have this gorgeous rug beater here. This was from Zara Home. Everything that I can try and find, I will try and link down below for you if you're interested. And then I have this little net bag. This is from Ikea. It came in a pack of two. I've got this little brush and this peg little container. That was from Matalan. That was from Matalan or Poundland. I've bought some from Matalan. I've bought some from Poundland before. So it could have been either of those shops. And then I've just hung a little Neptune bag there because it just goes with the whole room and I like that. When we were doing the whole room, we decided to paint the radiator too because it's not a very nice radiator and I didn't want it to stand out and look really ugly against the black panelling. So we've just kind of painted it black so it blends in a little bit more. And then I also decided to paint the skirt in black, which I'm so happy that I went for. I just think it's really different and I like that. And then I've got the little corner down here painted black as well. So moving on to this side of the room, we decided to go for some black cupboards, so different to what we have in the kitchen. We got these from Howden's and also like the gold knobs. I wanted to try a statement in this room because I would have been too scared to go fully black in my kitchen because I am quite a neutral girl. So I did want to try something a bit more fun, a bit more different, something I wouldn't normally go for in this room. We have the tiles up back. We still need to like silicone along the top and down the sides, but that will be a job for another day. That's something that we haven't quite finished in this room yet. So there are little areas that do need finishing, but the tiles done by Aid, shown how to do by his lovely dad. So before we moved into this house, Aid had done no tiling or anything like that, so this is all brand new to us and we're just learning as we go. But really, really pleased with the tiles in here. I'm so glad that we decided to go with all white because it just makes the other natural colours and the golds and blacks all stand out. We also managed to change all of our like sockets over to gold. The only one we haven't changed, I don't think I can change, is this like hot water thing, which Again, doesn't look the prettiest. I'm not sure what we can do with that, but we'll have to think of something eventually. I also want to paint our door. So yeah, there are things that we want to do. <laughs> I'll go into what is in our cupboards in a minute, but just the little accessories on top. We have this jar. So this is a little jar from Ikea. Coming over to this side, I've got some washing powder in this jar. And I think this is like Ace for Whites liquid in this jar. So this little cork bottle thing is from Ikea. And then this jar is from Ikea as well. Moving up onto the shelves now. So these shelves are plain from Wix. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. They're not perfect because these two line up. But on this side, the two brackets do not line up. So we are going to get them to line up because that is a very annoying that they don't. Just ignore that for now. We are going to get that sorted. These shelves were from Wix. They came in plain pine and then we primed them and painted them white. On top of the shelves, I have some bits from Neptune here. So we just have the fabric conditioner and the laundry detergent there. Moving along, we have a little basket from Zara Home, and I've just filled it with some cheap little towels, which I bought in my Ikea haul. So if you watch my Ikea haul, they were from there. And then we have two more Ikea cork top bottles here. So that one is filled with washing powder. This one's actually fab if you put your washing powder in a bottle like this, because instead of having to scoop up your washing powder, I just tip it into the drawer now. And I really, really love that. It makes filling up the washing machine so easy. So it's actually great. And same with the fabric conditioner. So I put fabric conditioner in that one. Moving on, we have two little jars up here. This one here is from Neptune. And then the little branches coming out the top are actually from Wish. So I am gonna be working in collaboration with Wish soon. And this was one of the items I picked up from there. And I really, really like them. I think they're really beautiful and go really well with this room. We've got this little tiny sugar pot. This is from Zara Home. And then this little basket up here is from Zara Home. This currently isn't housing anything. I might get more bits to do on these shelves. I don't feel like the shelves are perfect yet. I'm still getting into a groove with shelf styling, but I'm really pleased with them for now. 
And then we're gonna move into the cupboards. So this one here is just boring. This is our boiler and we just got a cupboard to cover that. So it's not on display. And along the bottom here we have three cabinets. So in this one is just our washing machine. Currently there is a wash in there that I need to hang up in a minute after I've finished filming this. Nice to have the washing machine out of the way in there. Then coming to the under the sink cupboard, we have got cleaning accessories. I did a whole video on me sorting out my utility cupboards and cleaning products and it's pretty much stayed the same. I mean, my products aren't that tidy in the baskets, but I still kept to the same system and I'm really, really pleased with it. These baskets are really nice, big and deep. They were from Home Bargains. They were really nice and cheap. I have this laundry detergent box here. That was from Matalan. And then I've got this little utility tin box down there. I think that one was Home Bargains. Then this basket here is mainly washing up and laundry bits and then just a few other little bits chucked in as well. Then moving into this cupboard over here, it pretty much is the same as when I organized it. I've got my three little baskets of cleaning products all along the top. I do try and organize them into different like room sections and areas, but it doesn't always stay that way. I've got all my disinfectants down this side. Then down here, I have this little washing up caddy. This was from Matalan and I've got my like sponges and dish brushes, bottle brushes in that one. And then we have this little white basket of tea towels, a little white basket of minkies, cleaning wipes, and then other various cleaning products back there. That basket there is actually mainly like floor cleaner and carpet bits and bobs. So I have tried to keep, keep them grouped together. I have some little hooks on here. So these are a new addition because these again are from Wish and they are really handy. They just stick on the back of the door there. So I've just got this little brush here. This one was from Poundsland. This one is fantastic for getting into those little thin areas where dirt and grime can hide itself. And then I've just hung a tea towel on there as well. So it keeps everything nice and storage and out of the way. And I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm not sure as well if I mentioned that mat there. It's a bit old and worn now because it's been there for a while and this is our back door. So we do have a lot of high traffic coming through this room, but I think that one was from Ikea. That is my little utility room. Like I said, it's a small little room, but really, really pleased with how it looks and how it's all come together. So that brings me to the end of my little utility makeover. I really hope that you have loved watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I know to create more content like this, and I shall see you all in a video again soon. Thanks so much, guys. Mm -hmm.